teenagers in northern Kentucky are accused of creating major problems at a Newport apartment complex. One worker describing it to us as sheer madness. WLWT News 5's Curtis Fuller has been investigating this story for us all day today. You will see only on WLWT. Police are looking into an incident that happened here at River Chase Apartments. Some might describe it as teens gone wild. This swimming pool is for residents and authorized guests only, but it appears on Tuesday there were a few unwanted guests. There were some juveniles that were illegally swimming in the swimming pool, and um, they were told that they had to leave. Reed is a resident here. He says he was told the young people left, but not quietly. They got angry. They got rocks and started throwing at the front door of the, uh, of the establishment here. And upon them leaving the premises and running off, eventually they were caught and the police arrested them. A nearby construction worker tells the same story. He did not want to be on camera, but said he saw the whole thing go down from across the street. A worker for Brown Properties said not only were they throwing rocks at cars, quote, one pulled a taser on one of my guys. Now they are running at me, and I barely got in the office and locked the door in time. And quote, then I hear glass shatter and another person running toward me, bloody. It's just young kids, you know, it's that time of the year, I guess, also that they're out of school and they're just trying to find something to do with the idle time, and they chose to come over here for that particular day and uh, use the swimming pool illegally. The management here at River Chase only acknowledged that something happened, but beyond that, refused to comment. I'm Curtis Fuller, WLWT News 5. Now, despite numerous requests for information, we've received nothing so far from Newport Police. We were told that it could be a few days before they will release anything because the incident involves juveniles. We have submitted a request for all documents, including the Kimball County 911 call. We'll continue to follow this story and keep you updated.